Hey guys, it's Rachel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review of a book I got from NetGalley from Little Brown and Company. So thank you so much for allowing me to read it before it comes out. Woohoo! Yeah! And the book I'm going to review is The Fever by Megan Abbott. I don't know why, but I love this cover. Like, just look at that, it's cool. I'm so excited that I got approved for this because I really wanted to read it. I read another of Meg Abbott's books a few years ago and that book was The End of Everything. Her writing makes me want to write. Like it's just beautiful. She's very good at describing things and she's also very good at writing teenage girls. This is adult literary fiction. This quote at the beginning of the book kind of sums up the book. It's by Carl Jung and it says, in all disorder, there is a secret order. It's a story about a girl named Dini, and she's a teenage girl. She lives with her father and her brother. Her father is a high school teacher, and her brother is a hockey player, and he's like really hot. All the girls want him. And Dini is just kind of this girl trying to get through high school. And Dini has these two best friends. One's name is Gabby, and one is Lise, I believe is how her name's pronounced. And they're just like the bestest of friends, like three musketeer type thing. At the beginning of the book, there's a little disruption in this like friendship circle. All the action in the book starts when Lise, um, they're sitting in class and she just falls out of her desk and has this like awful seizure and she's foaming at the mouth. Her eyes are like black and she just looks kind of possessed and everyone's just like totally freaked out and they're worried about her. After that happens, something happens to Deanie's other best friend, Gabby. She's doing like a musical recital and something just like horrible happens to her. And she goes to the hospital and that kind of starts this whole chain of events where all these girls start just like dropping like flies. They're having seizures, they're vomiting, they're passing out. They're all just going to the hospital and this is starting like mass hysteria in this like little suburban community and like all these parents are just freaking out. People are talking about possession and sexual transmitted outbreak or some kind of virus that's going around. These kids are freaking out. Everyone has their own ideas of what's going on, but eventually they start noticing that it's only happening to these teenage girls. It's not affecting the boys at all, and it's not really affecting anyone else in the community, only these girls at this high school. And the deeper you get into it, the more you find out all these secrets between friends and family. All this stuff comes out, and so much of the book not only is about this outbreak, this contagion, this like craziness that's happening. It's also just a story about teenage girls and their friends and the dynamics in the group and what it's like to be a teenager, all the insecurities and the jealousy, and falling in love with boys and that kind of story. And it's like really like compelling. Like I just wanted to keep reading and reading and I was like really intrigued. I was like, what is this? What is happening? The end of the book wasn't my favorite. Like I wasn't super happy with the ending, but it wasn't anything Thing that really took away from it for me so I really enjoyed it I can't really tell you anymore without giving it away but I'll just say that I read it really quickly it's a psychological thriller and I love books like that I love psychological thrillers I love mysteries I love books that have twists in them anything like that so I think that's why I really enjoyed it I was just like excited the whole time just I think it's a great book to read for the summer, like a nice beach read. I will definitely be reading more of her books. I just think it was really well done. It was a fun time had for all. For all, and that means a fun time for myself. I gave it four stars out of five. You guys should definitely check it out, and if you guys read it, you should let me know what you think of it in the comments below. I believe it comes out at Barnes & Noble, Amazon, and those places on June 17th, so you should be on the lookout for that. Goodbye! Thanks for watching! Ooh, darkness. Let's just have the lights go out. <laughs> if I could spin my head all the way around right now, I would do that. Like the exorcist. And I would just spew out green vomit. Yeah.